Hey, it's Garrett Biss. So somebody reached out to me earlier and they were asking, is it possible to get clean and sober without professional help? Well, I think it's a great question. And of course the answer is, it, you know, it really depends. Uh, it depends on what the substance is. It has a lot of personal or individual uh, factors uh, to, to you and what the, you know, what the chemicals and substances are and the level of involvement that you have or how severe your addiction is. There are some substances that trying to withdraw from them or trying to uh, get, get clean or sober from them, the withdrawal process can be life-threatening. Uh, if you have a very severe alcohol dependence or some of uh, some uh, prescription chemicals or opioids the process that you go through the physical withdrawal can be something that's debilitating and even life-threatening depending on the chemicals and depending on your personal body chemistry that said there are many things that you can do individually so let me just clarify i would absolutely seek some kind of professional advice or some professional opinion if you're not sure if your level of uh, addiction or the amount of substance that you're consuming if that could be life-threatening trying to come off of that if we're strictly talking from the behavioral aspect of it then yes there is, there is certainly the potential to move beyond your addictive uh, behaviors without professional help not recommend it but it is possible and actually i was reading a study that about 45 to uh, as high as 75 percent depending on the, the data that you're looking at but people that have been uh, long-term alcohol dependents or alcoholics about 45 to 55% of people that survive in long-term recovery or find long-term recovery, find a, a, a happy and successful life after their alcohol, uh, the alcoholic years of their life, they actually do it without intervention or without professional help. It's called spontaneous sobriety. And it's a term that you can Google and, and kind of search the statistics about that. So not, guide it with professional help but there's certainly things that happen in their lives or resources that came up or a, a drastic change in their life uh, experience or their life situation that helped perpetuate that or fuel that uh, but yeah it certainly is possible i uh, my journey through recovery i didn't go through a traditional pathway i didn't go and um, do what most people would think uh, is the traditional pathway beyond addictive behaviors but there were a lot of resources out there. I, there. There were a lot of things that I didn't know that I had to learn. I just didn't learn it in the context of trying to deal with addictions. Now, in hindsight, looking back at it, a lot of the contributing factors to addiction, the lack of emotional resilience, the lack of engagement, the lack of meaning in your life, uh, a lot of doubt, a lot of shame, a lot of fear, a lot of confusion. These are all emotional factors that really influence or perpetuate somebody's addictive behaviors. So not intending to deal with the drinking problem and the uh, other behavioral problems that I had by addressing other things that helped uh, deal with these contributing factors to those behaviors. Uh, it really helped alleviate and change and uh, help me overcome those tendencies. So there's many contributing factors to why somebody seeks an addiction. Now addiction is not, you know, the addictive behaviors that we have, it, it's a means of trying to seek um, avoiding something, numbing something, uh, escaping from some emotion that we have inside of us. So for most people that comes up because we just don't have the coping mechanisms necessary or the awareness necessary to deal with whatever those challenges or whatever those struggles are in our life. So we seek something that's external to us and the greater the pain that we have and the less coping mechanisms that we have at the time, the greater um, tendency we have to rely on those external substances uh, and behaviors. And then the more that we rely on something external to us, the more that we rely on that substance or that drink or that behavior to help us cope, the more diminished our natural coping mechanisms become. And then we become ha habitually conditioned to needing that substance or that behavior to get through the stresses of regular life. So the, um, so if you either deal with those situations in your life that are compounding that need to avoid or escape or numb, or you seek ways to develop and, and foster or bolster your natural uh, coping mechanisms and your ability to deal with those challenges of life, or a combination of both of those, you reduce the stressors on your life and you, in, and you increase your ability to deal and cope, that can be a pathway beyond your addictive behaviors and help you get clean and sober. So the, the short answer is it depends. The long answer is yes, it's possible, uh, but it certainly depends on your state of mind, where you're at in life, the external circumstances that are affecting your life, 
uh, the challenges that you face, the natural coping mechanisms that you have, the other resources that you have that are available to you, uh, these, can, uh, these can influence uh, your ability to overcome or get clean and sober uh, if that's what your goal is. Now, there's some traditional professional help that we can seek, if, you know, going to support groups or going away to a residential rehab facility or a detox facility. Those are some professional things that we can seek, but there's many, many other resources. There's books that you can buy to learn more about addictions and addictive behaviors. And then there's some self-help programs. So the, the, one of the reasons I put together Thriving in Your Recovery is because a lot of people, they, they don't have the time, there's too much shame, too much guilt, too much fear that people are gonna find out uh, if they go and seek professional help. So that's one huge benefit of thriving in your recovery. It's an online program. You go through it at your own pace. You can do it in the privacy of your own home, on your phone, anywhere that you can get an internet access, you can go through the program so that you can seek the help. You can develop the tools and you can deal with some of those contributing factors in your life without having to go out and seek the you know traditional professional help route. So I hope that answers your question uh, to the person who asked it and anybody else who's ever been wondering that. Can you get clean and sober without professional help? Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Please share it with anybody that needs to hear it and you be well.